Hi, this is Muhammad Amir Yusuf, and you are welcome to the video exercise for designing a multiplexer in VSDL. Let us start with defining a multiplexer first. A multiplexer is a device that selects one of several input signals and forwards the selected input to a single output line. And this device has an important role in various electronics and telecommunication equipment, especially when there are limited number of resources for several channels. It usually has a number of inputs, a single output line, and a control line, where control line is responsible for selection of an input. Now let's move to a two-input digital multiplexer in which digital value of control line cell determines who should connect to the output. In this two-input multiplexer, a value 0 for cell selects input A, whereas input B is selected when cell is equal to 1. Now as a hardware engineer, let us look at how we can make a multiplexer in real hardware. For simplicity, we take the inputs and output signals as one-bit signals, and only a single-bit digital control line is enough to make switching through two inputs. Very first step in making a digital circuit is to map its exact behavior in a truth table or a K-map. Look at the behavior of a two input multiplexer and we can observe that the output line is reflecting input A when cell is equal to 0 whereas B is mirrored on output when cell is equal to 1. This mapping helps in building up a logical equation and then to a suitable arrangement of logical gates in order to achieve the behavior of a circuit. In order to implement this circuit, we may need some logical gates, a bunch of connecting wires, and some other helping tools. Well, this is one way of making hardware that might work for simple and smaller designs, but this may not be a good option for a larger and complex circuits that involve hundreds or thousands of logical gates. Now here comes VHDL which offer another method of modeling and designing circuits that accepts the description of either structure or behavior of digital circuit. It then synthesizes the description into real hardware. The key advantage of VSDL is that it allows hardware design by its description. It further allows simulation and verification of that design before it goes to real implementation. Once we have a function block or a working component, it can be reused in many other designs. Now we look at the various ways of describing hardware with VSDL. Here is the first example in which multiplexer is described by its structure. Note that a VHDL description has two major parts, a port that describes the interface of hardware to the external world, and an architecture that describes how the hardware should be made. In the example of multiplexer, the port is described here with two inputs, A and B, and an output out and a control line cell. The architecture is defined by the same logical equation we obtained from KMAP. In the second example of hardware description of multiplexer with VSDL, the architecture is described by the behavior of multiplexer, whereas the port is described exactly the same way as it was in previous example. The behavior is described as if cell is equal to 0, the input A should be mapped on out, otherwise the input B should be mapped on out. Also observe that the process is used to enclose the behavioral statements, which means that the statements will be executed sequentially. The sensitivity list of the process dictates that the process will be executed only when a change in signal A, B, or cell is observed. In the third example, hardware is described by the behavior again, but this time using when else statements of VHDL, which is a concurrent statement. Now we are successfully finished with the design of two input multiplexer. This design can either be used as a standalone system or as a component to a bigger design. In the coming slide, we will look at example how we can use two input multiplexer as a component to build a four input multiplexer. In four input multiplexer, two bit control signal is required to switch between four input channels. In this design, we have input channels named as C0, C1, C2, and C3, and two bit control signals cell. 
It can be constructed using three two input multiplexers in the arrangement shown here. Mux U1 selects between input channel C0 and C1 and Mux U2 selects between C2 and C3. The selection on U1 and U2 are made on the basis of value S0. If S0 is low, C0 and C2 will be selected on their respective units. Otherwise C1 and C3 will be selected. The selected pair will be forwarded to another unit U3 that will make a final selection based on S1 value. The exact design is implemented with VHDL. The port is described first with C as 4-bit input vector to represent 4 input channels. Similarly, 2-bit control signal cell and output out are described. In the architecture we previously made in the architecture, the previously made two input MUX is brought as a component and then three instances of these components are used, exactly in the same way as described in block diagram in previous slide.